Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. Pardon the look, but it is my off day from work, and I do not get ready on my off days. I let my hair relax, put it in a hat, go to the gym, I don't shave, I don't gussy up. It's literally just a relaxing day. I dropped my one cat off at the vet this morning. Everything's fine, just a checkup. But anyway, I have a home. If you know these boxes, you know it's a Candles from the Keeping Room haul. Now, Candles from the Keeping Room is not a vendor that I see talked about nearly as much as used to be, and nearly as much as I think it deserves to be. I will insert a clip right here of my last and around from what I can bring back, Candles from the Keeping Room haul, from eight years ago. So when I say this is years, 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 and years since I placed an order, it's been years. Roll the clip. Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm gonna do my Candles from the Keeping Room unboxing and first impressions. I just opened up the box with my owl scissors. Yes, I have scissors that look like owls. I just love owls so much. But anyway, this is my box. I ordered it on Friday night, and it is Wednesday, and it's already here. So, I will start with the samples. Holy crap, Carol. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twelve samples. Let's start off with this gigantic... Heart shapes. Now that you had a little chuckle of my old videos from Candles from the Keeping Room, let me break it down. Carol is the owner of Candles from the Keeping Room, and she has a friend, Donna. They live in PA. I live in PA. They live on the opposite end of PA. But Carol specializes, while she does, while I talk, I'm actually going to open up the box, but Carol specializes in 100% paraffin wax, which is... To be honest, the only vendor that I know of that actually uses plain paraffin wax. But everything is done really old school. So she wraps everything in double cello with homespun, which is honestly not my favorite way. But I... So there's paper. I haven't ordered from Carol in years and years and years and years. And the reason why... I don't know. I fell out of Ender Wax, and I kind of forgot about her. And you know how there are so many new vendors and you want to try new, new, new. And I know because 100% paraffin wax does not perform as well in, like, Scentsy warmers because they're lower wattage. I bought a bunch of higher wattage warmers because I've just not been having luck with Scentsy warmers. And I'm like, Carol from Candles from the Keeping Room. Oh my god, she has paraffin wax. So her colors are not as vibrant as normal vendors with the soy, but the scents are incredible. One, they need no cure time. Two, they last forever. And three, Carol only ships ready to ship. But she also only opens five times, probably is the most she's opened in a year. She sits in her little garage or her little barn, I think it's her barn in her backyard, and she pours and pours and pours. And then she'll open her site for viewing about a week before opening, maybe a few days. You look at what you want, you make a list. She does have a cart hold. So what that means is you can hold your stuff in your cart. But for example, some of the things, it said like foreign stock. So I knew her stuff was gonna go fast. She closed her site in an hour. I ordered this on Saturday. It's Tuesday morning, and it's or Wednesday morning, and it's already here. I probably won't upload this for a while, just because I have a schedule of videos that are already planned to upload. But I was so excited. She only offers bags. So anything on her list, and she has fresh, fruity, bakery, um, like a sweet shop, which is like drinks, holiday, like, and then she has a strawberry collection that are little shapes like strawberries. So, I made a list, and I was able to get everything on my list. She opened at 9 a.m., I was on my computer at 8.58, refreshed the screen, added everything to my list, checked out, called it a day. Everything is wrapped like this. Now, everything is only offered in one bag. 
it doesn't, you don't get to pick the shape or the color or the size. They're $7.50 for, I believe it's like a six to eight ounce bag of wax. I, and then it's whatever mystery is the mystery. But this, that she hand draws a pumpkin on the side of the box and on your bag. This is a bag of samples. And this is another reason why I love Carol, is because you get so many samples. Now, I'm just putting a disclaimer out there now. There's no pour dates. There's no scent descriptions. She's very, very old school. I have a list of scent descriptions. I also have a um, pretty good idea of what they are. Now, this one... I'm not sure, this is not a sample. This isn't part of my order. I was like, that doesn't look like a sample. This is samples, all right? So, the samples look like this. There's different shapes. We have pies. There has to be 15 samples in here. I will count as I go, but I wanna talk about the samples. The first one is buttercream maple zucchini. And as I'm smelling and reviewing these, paraffin wax, you do not get the best scent on cold because paraffin wax the scent is in the oil so in in the wax so when you melt it is when you really get that throw but no cure time i could melt any of these today and get an amazing scent throw and if i remember from years ago and following her in the facebook group which i'll link her facebook group down below definitely join definitely join in the message say drew sent you i haven't ordered from her in a while but i'm super excited i already know i'm gonna be a regular time orderer again but anyway um Everybody loves her wax. So the first one is buttercream maple zucchini. Oh, this is good. Zucchini is definitely in the background. I definitely pick up more on the maple, and these are like little pieces of toast. But you see what I mean? It's like almost see-through, and the colors aren't super vibrant, but the wax is incredible. Oh, it's like a creamy, creamy bakery with just a hint of maple. So that was sample one. Sample two, pomegranate apple zucchini. And this is another thing. I keep adding another thing, another thing. She picks samples based on what you ordered. And if there's scents that you really wanted to try, maybe sold out, you weren't able to get your hands on, you can actually pick specific scents you want as your samples. Oh, this is good. You definitely pick up on the apple. It's like a green apple, but a very tart apple. The zucchini warms it up. And the pomegranate is like super tart and crisp. And as you can see, it's like a little grubby square. Next, we have plum tart. And there are these two little plums. Guys, I am so excited. Like, I am so excited for this order. It's so, so sweet. But it's not like sweet as in like cloyingly sweet, it's sweet because it's like really fresh plum. I don't pick up as much on like bakery, but I definitely get like a really fruity, fruity plum. Bog cranberry and sweet apple in a little pie shape. I'm not sure what bog is. I do have descriptions for all of like the big bags. It's a much warmer cranberry. I don't smell like a super fresh tart. It's definitely like a warm, almost like a cranberry sauce mixed with a, with a crisp apple. And if I'm like trying to close these bags and it hurts, it's because getting my cat in the crate this morning was not fun and he bit me. Black cherry yellow cake. And if you see, it's like a stack of pancakes with like white on the top. Now I'm not a big fan of cherry scents. It definitely smells like like medicinal cherry. I do pick up yellow cake. I don't want to spend too much time on the samples because I ordered a lot of bags, but yeah. It's kind of like a, um, like a, like if you like black cherry, you'll like that. My words. Mr. Bear at the fair. Now, Mr. Bear, okay, when I think of Mr. Bear, I think of Mr. Bear from Full House, Stephanie's Bear. Um, it's her bear claw scent. And I assume at the fair is like a funnel cake scent. It's like a purple tart. Oh my gosh, is this amazing. Oh, you definitely pick up on the super sweet, like caramel bakery. Oh, it's so good. And I, 
Mmm. It's like a caramel buttery bakery scent. Yum. Oh my god, there's so many samples in here, you guys. It just keeps going. Oh, I forgot. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, six. Number seven. Yummy blueberry pie. I love blueberry scents, and it literally looks like a little pie. And if you see, there's like a brown crust on the bottom. Oh my god, it smells just like blueberry pie. Like, juicy, juicy fresh blueberries and flaky buttery pie crust. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. And no joke, like, this from years ago, from what I remember, fills up your whole place. Like, her wax is so strong. This is peach pizzelle, and it's like a little heart-shaped pie. So this is number eight. I'm not getting much pizzelle. Honestly, the pizzelles scare me because aren't those like, um, like anise cookies? But I don't pick up on much of that. It smells like a very light, like a peach shortbread cookie almost. But maybe the pizzelle part will come out when I smell it. Pistachio pudding cake. I'm really excited about this one. It's like a little, little cakey shape. It's not cherry. It's pistachio. You know, sometimes pistachio can come across cherry. Not this one. This is like, this is like true rich pistachio. That is going in the warmers ASAP. And I promise I'm going to start doing weekly, um, like wax baskets and stuff in the new year. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do it consistently, coming up with the best plan. So in January, I can start fresh. So we have jelly filled flapjack. I love jelly filled scents. This smells like a stack of pancakes with blueberry and strawberry jam. Or like compote. You know how like you go to a restaurant and they'll give you your maple syrup and then they have a bunch of little syrups on the side? That's what it smells like. This one is eggnog ice cream. You guys, this bag is still like half full. <laughs> eggnog ice cream. Uh oh. Yes, I do have more than one cat. I know I said the cat's at the vet. Shantae, enough. So in my last video, I talked about eggnog. And I can see now, like, what eggnog smells like. It's like a more spiced custard. It's how I describe it in wax. Like a cinnamony, nutmeggy custard type of scent, which I guess isn't eggnog like runny custard anyway. Strawberry cookie type. Not sure what the dupe of strawberry cookie is. It smells like a like a buttery, like a buttercream frosted strawberry cookie. You know those Cheryl's ones from QVC that are like so gross that used to be really good? That's kind of what this smells like. Like a like a buttercream frosted cookie. <sighs> Banana nutty graham pie. Also, I stopped counting. I'll figure it out later. Um, banana nutty graham pie. Oh my god. The banana's not Laffy Taffy banana either. Look how cute his little pie is. It's like, it's like a banana cream pie, but loaded with graham crackers. Ugh. You definitely pick the graham cracker note up very heavily, which is not like super unique or super common that's pretty unique in wax vanilla passion fruit type vanilla passion fruit isn't that a yankee candle yankee candle type whoa totally different than the others this is definitely like a summery scent the passion fruits like wakes you up like it's very strong and very like hello i'm here mm. oh that's good though it's a very very sweet creamy but then you get like that jolt of energy. Banana Pizzelle. Now see, I love me some banana scents. And I ordered some in here too. I, I get more of the true Pizzelle in here than the other one. Like that anise cookie, I can definitely smell more in here. Oh, it's yummy. But again, that banana is more true like banana cream pie than banana Laffy Taffy. Cranberry Apple Marmalade. 
and this is in a little, it's like a little ball mason jar, and it literally even says mason jar on the label, or on the wax. So cranberry apple marmalade. Oh. It's crazy that it smells like a true jam. Like you can truly smell jam in it. It's tart. It's definitely tart. And the apple, it's like a tart, fruity um, jam. That's how I can describe that. And then caramelized banana zucchini. This is gonna be heaven. Oh my god, okay, my favorite dessert, I've talked about it before, is Bananas Foster, and you can barely get it anywhere. This, uh, imagine taking a piece of freshly baked zucchini bread, and then making Bananas Foster and pouring it over the top. But zucchini bread, and I know, like, zucchini bread's not a new thing in wax. Clearly, Carol's been doing it for years, but uh, this smells just like a um like a bananas foster over zucchini bread and that sounds amazing and then the last says a gift for you it's actually cuttable so it's bigger you can slice it into more pieces and this is lemon curd filled balm so what's this like a lemon bakery and it's a little like little citrus fruit wow lemon curd wow wake you up oh my gosh like Super powerful. Holy crap. This is like, it's not lemon, it's not like lemon cleaner. It's like true lemon curd. And I, I don't really get much bakery, necessarily. But I smell, I smell like fresh lemon curd. Alright, so, that was my samples. So I'm going to put them back in the bag as I, as I seal this one up. This one does not want to seal. There we go. So I'm still considering this one, even though this is two shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and one fell on the floor. 18 samples. 18. And these guys are a whole melt. Like, this is a melt. This isn't like some vendors that give you a piece of wax that's this big and expect you to get melts out of it. Like, is it even worse than a sample? Carol sent me 18 samples. All right. 18 samples down. 27 bags of wax. You guys, it's been a long time, so I feel like after eight years it was worth it to go a little bit ham. So without further ado, my favorite phrase, let's get into it. All right, I have my scent lists and I have my bags. Now the first bag I did open up because I thought it was part of the samples, but it looks like this and you see she has her homespun on there and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six shapes and this one is in Gooseberry Birthday Cake and this says plump tart gooseberries laced in our sweet birthday cake. An excellent aroma. Now the only thing about these is it's kind of hard to open them because they're tied with like the homespun. Let me see if I can smell them through the bags. Probably not. Now, so let me, this is an unboxing, so live right there with you. All right, so I got it open. Ooh, okay, this is interesting. I'm not sure what a gooseberry is, but I assume if it smells like this, hmm, it's kind of like a warm, um, like a warm cake smell. I don't necessarily get like, what I guess when I thought gooseberry, I thought like, um, what's it called? Like, um, like those Logan berries, but it's more like a warm baked cake. So every bag is hand wrapped in here. Oh, look how cute. This is Celtic Moon by the Fireplace, and there's a bunch of these little squares, and then there's some marshmallows. And this one says, 
are strong Celtic moon spice blended with a sweet, touchy, smoky marshmallows. So, if you remember from another vendor, I have a moon spice cookie that I just adore. It's a like double bag, double knotted. This is gonna be a long, crinkly video. And I know some people don't like the sound of the crinkles, but to me, honestly, I think it's kind of relaxing. So look at the little marshmallows. Oh, and then the little squares. Celtic Moon Spice is like, to me, it's like a toned down cinnamon. Like, there is cinnamon and there is spice, but to me, I almost feel like it's toned down a whole lot, which I obviously love because I don't like super crazy cinnamon and the marshmallow just makes it super sweet. Next, ooh, we have right here another bag. And again, this is just a very casual video. Ooh, banana crepes. I was really excited about this one, you guys. And this is only a little bit harder because of my thumb hurts. <laughs> so I'm trying not to, like, put too much pressure on it. So banana crepes. This one says, which is pretty self-explanatory, ripe banana, coconut milk, apple peel, bergamot, cinnamon stick, clove, crepe batter, topped with creamy vanilla and sugar crystals. Make this a unique must-try. Wow, that's a lot. And there's these little, like, little cakes. Now, it does have a lot of notes in it, but to me, it definitely just smells like a banana crepe. Like, super authentic, like, battery delicious cake. Oh. And that banana. Her banana, you guys. If you want banana, but you don't want the artificial smelling banana, Carol's banana is amazing. And I actually still have a few more bananas. And like, see, I don't mind the, the tying. I know it's like not super convenient, but her wax is so great, I don't mind it. Ooh, this one is blueberry brown sugar zucchini bread. Where's Catherine King at? I got a bunch of zucchini breads. And this says, a blend of our yummy fresh blueberry brown sugar mixed in with our creamy zucchini bread with a light sugary glazed icing. And okay, so can we just also talk about, do you see how the cubes are brown and blue and the homespun ribbon matches the colors of the wax? And I know Carol does that intentionally. There we go. And there's like six little, um, like, squares, and then three little sugar cubes. Chante! This cat. Okay. Zucchini bread, 100%. Really dominant. But the banana, or the banana, the blueberry, adds such a slight fruitiness that's not overwhelming. And the brown sugar, oh, it makes it so sweet and decadent. It's like it takes me three minutes to open a bag and 15 seconds to review of the scent. So that one is blueberry brown sugar zucchini bread. Next is powdered donuts and I don't know, I was not expecting them to be such a bright pink. And powdered donuts is, who thought deep fried dough could smell so amazing? Top notes of fluffy fried pastry, middle notes of crushed nutmeg and white cinnamon, bottom notes of rich sweet vanilla and loads of confectionery sugar. Totally scrumptious. Okay. And I know like a powdered donut oil is like new in the vendor world, but Carol's had it for a while and I don't think it's like the same oil. So I definitely pick up for some reason, I thought this was going to smell like the white cake powder donuts, like a lot of vendors, but it's almost like a cinnamon powder donut. Like if you took powdered sugar 
and a little bit of cinnamon. You mixed it together and that's what you coated the donuts in. Not bad at all. That's really good. Oh my god. That, I feel like if company's coming over and you want the house to just smell really, really homey and warm, powder donuts. God, this video is going to be like an hour long. <laughs> Banana flapjack. Now this is the only one in the entire scent list I could not find descriptions for. But, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's probably, like, bananas and maple syrup and buttery goodness. Boom. Oh, my God. And look how cute. Okay, so we have, like, little pancakes. And then we have little bananas. Oh, my God. So cute. Let's see. Okay, so this actually comes across a little Laffy Taffy. Just a little bit. But I also don't hate Laffy Taffy banana either. I like all laugh all banana. But the flapjack in it is definitely like a battery pancake. I do not smell any like syrup note, which is good because I'm not the biggest fan of maple. Although you will see in a haul down the road, I did order something maple that everybody talks about, so we'll see. Next one, and I mean, for her to ship this out in a day, and for the papers to be, you know, hand wrapped, this one is Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. I have heard so much good stuff about this one, you guys. I forget whose video I was watching, because I was binging a bunch of older videos, and they're like, you must have this. It says, a great fragrance which is filled with surprises to delight all of the senses with plum, dark cherry, and sweet oranges enhanced with peppery, woody undertones. And it's a bag full of plums. <sighs> so, totally different than Sugar Plum Fairies from like other vendors. It kind of reminds me, you know how sometimes, now I don't like to eat these, but they have like the spiced gumdrops where like you take a bite and you're like, I thought this was supposed to be like super sweet. It kind of smells like if there was a sugar plum favored, flavored spiced gumdrop. It's very holiday, like a very holiday fragrance. But don't think because of the cinnamon in there that it's like super crazy. It is kind of like a red hot cinnamon, but... It's such a light amount that it's really yummy. And like I said, I know that the ribbons can be kind of annoying, but look how, I, I love that the ribbons match the color of the wax. Like that's just, just so amazing. Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Now I was really excited for this one because I hear her Cupcakes at Tiffany's oil is amazing. And I've never actually tried it from any vendor just on its own. I've only tried it mixed with things. And this one says, sweet buttery notes with hints of toffee, chocolate, loads of sweet fruity buttercream, and fluffy white cake. And look at this. This is a bag of cupcakes. Little cupcakes. This is really good. And it's kind of, I don't want to say it's exactly how I thought it would, but it is. It smells like a moist yellow cake with chocolate frosting, but like store-bought chocolate frosting. And then you took like just a toffee bar, chopped it up, and then sprinkled it on the top. Wow, that's good. It definitely is very creamy, and I can see why it's blended with a lot of things. I actually got, I think, two blends in this order with Cupcakes at Tiffany's. This one, Apple Dumpling. I was really excited about this one. Apple Dumpling, because I actually was at the fair and just a couple weeks ago, and they had Apple Dumplings hot with vanilla ice cream. And I know if my friend is watching from California, you know who you are. You've never had an apple dumpling. She's actually never even had pie before. And I was trying to explain to her what an apple dumpling is. And oh my god, wait, are these like little dumpling 
waxes with green on Oh my god. And then there's little pies. Adorable. It says, our apple dumpling fragrance is the aroma of freshly baked apple dumplings. It begins with top notes of red candy apples and pears, middle notes of nutmeg, clove, cardamom, and cinnamon bark, and base notes of vanilla and hazelnut. Chante. Cool it. I don't necessarily say it smells like an apple dumpling. It's a little bit spicier than that. Definitely an emphasis on like the nutmeg and the cinnamon. Shantae! These cats drive me nuts. Ah. It does. It, it is definitely more like a spiced apple scent. So, Lori Brown, if you're watching, I know you need more uh, spiced apple scents in your life. It's good. I don't know. I was expecting more of like a baked apple. Like, so I'm not disappointed. I was just expecting a little bit more. Maybe I'll mix that with like some vanilla bakery. Next we have Circus Concession. And oh my god, the ribbon on this is so cute. It's like rainbow. And this one, Charity, I know if you're watching this, you love a circus concession scent like I do. And this says, a day at the fair. This scent will remind you of that. Caramel apples. This is a very, like, people drive. I don't understand. Um, this will remind you of that. Caramel apples, cotton candy, funnel cake, and all things sweet. There are these little purple. This is a good, this is a good circus concession. It's a very apple forward circus concession, which, again, we all can't stand when circus concession scents don't have apple in them, because that's like the main thing you smell at the fair. And, but it's in, it's in here. It's like rich caramel apple. The funnel cake makes it really baked and yummy and a little bit of like salty sweetness. That's delish. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize how many of these I ordered. I mean, I did, but then I'm like, oh my God, wait, I have to like sit here and unbox them all. Apple Cranberry Zucchini, and this one is on the top of the list. It says, our yummy zucchini bread blended with sweet apples and our bog cranberry. Mmm, so good. I do not know what bog cranberry is still. Bog cranberry, B-O-G. If you know, I mean, I'll look it up after the video, but if you know, comment down below. And also, big shout out to all of the Candles from the Keeping Room people in the Facebook group. You guys are amazing. These are like little apples. Ooh. Interesting. I'm not getting a ton of like fruity like I thought I would. It's definitely zucchini bread. Definitely, first and foremost. But I feel like the cranberry and the apple are so subtle in there. It's like they're chopped up really finely and mixed into the batter, which I don't hate at all. I really like it. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. That's a very comforting scent. And I feel like this is one that, again, if company's coming over and you're not sure what to melt, but you know you want some zucchini bread in there. I'm predicting this video is going to be at least an hour. Blueberry Lemon Donuts, and another fun color, and this one is Down Home Goodness. Freshly picked blueberries with juicy lemon baked into a delicious vanilla cake donut topped with sweet sugary glaze. Yum. We think you will love this decadent bakery delight. I'm getting better as I open them. And this one also has the most adorable little cupcake. And then these little French crawler donuts. Oh, okay. The donut is like a cake donut, not a yeast donut. Which I'm not complaining because I really love a good cake donut. And it's like a blueberry cake donut. So think about like a really fresh out of the oven blueberry cake donut. With a light lemon flavored glaze. So the glaze and the lemon is definitely more 
like sweet bakery versus like cleaner obviously and then on top of like a freshly warmed donut mm. it's delicious i'm so happy to have candles from the keeping room back and she does have another restock coming up well i say soon it's like january february so definitely take time watch some other videos charity lori brown um Catherine King, all my favorites, Carson. You definitely need some candles from the keeping room in your new house, Carson. Marshmallow filled zucchini bread. Now this just sounded like a really cool blender scent for me. And this one says, it's marshmallow filled yellow cake, not marshmallow filled zucchini bread. This says, our yummy blend of our yellow pound cake filled with gooey marshmallow makes your teeth ache yummy. And these are just like the little pancakes. very sweet just like she said like very sweet the marshmallows like jet puff marshmallow or like marshmallow fluff it's so sweet and the yellow cake is a true like yellow cake batter from the store see why i was excited about this one and it's strong is it'll be a good blender so maybe even in that like apple dumplings where i thought it was just a little too um Spicy. Next we have jams and scones. And I love that I got one of her strawberry shapes because she has a section in her store of all strawberries, but I just did not have it in me to order even more because I knew this box was going to be huge. And they're just all her strawberry shapes, which look I mean, it's a le legit strawberry. It has the seed pits and everything, and then the rest are just like these little tarts. Okay, this is like really bakery. The notes say, a sweet English pastry mixed with sweet berries, and to take a step further, pour it over a top of sweet sugary glaze. This smells like you're at a high tea, eating your biscuits and scones and jam and i love when you get a good scone that's a little bit salty and when you put the sweetness of the jam on it it like just makes your mouth water because of the saltiness oh that's good and i mean i love a strawberry scent so i definitely ordered some strawberry not as many as i want to like i said i didn't order any of like her strawberry shapes that i know of maybe some of these might come in strawberry shapes We'll just have to see. But that's a really yummy one. Jams and scone. Next we have peach jam cheesecake with this adorable peach colored ribbon and little peaches. Oh, I am so excited for the peach since I ordered two. And this is our delicious blend of yummy sweet peach and zucchini bread. Zucchini bread? Oh, no, that, that's a different just description. It says, this is a yummy summer cheesecake. Sweet cheesecake in a graham sugared crust topped with sweet peach jam. Oh my god. Okay. The peach smells like peach rings. But I don't hate it. It definitely smells like those sugared peach rings. I'm not picking up on like a creaminess of a cheesecake necessarily, but I am getting like a bakery note from the graham cracker. Oh, is that yummy. I do love me a peach, especially in the summer. And like I said, I know her stuff doesn't need any cure time, but I am going to save this for summer. 100%. Next, pistachio fluff zucchini. I was also really excited about this one. I mean, hey, I was really excited about all of them, let's be honest. And this one says, our zucchini bread filled with pistachio marshmallow fluff. And these are like, just like little, like, it looks like a top of a cupcake. I thought this would be a lot stronger on the pistachio because anything you add pistachio to, it just makes it like insanely strong. But it's not insane. 
it's actually really, really nice balance of like the pistachio and the sweet marshmallow. Because you definitely pick up on the sweet marshmallow. And then that warm, creamy, decadent zucchini bread. That's a winner. Love that. And like I said, I cannot believe how much work she puts into all of her wax. And it's simple. Like, there, there, there's no frills. It's really easy to, um, you know, get a hold of her. Her wax sells fast, but iced cranberry. And this one is in her holiday scents. And this says sweet cranberry, hints of apple, and creamy vanilla. A wonderful sweet cranberry blend. And I definitely don't have enough cranberry, but I do only like it in Christmas, I feel. And if you look, she gave me some of those little mason jars. Like, look how cute. Two-tone. And then some pancakes. Oh my god, every truck in the world is driving by now. Um, yeah. Oh! These are little heart cookies. Look at this. They're little hearts. That's so cute. Um, yeah, it smells like... Uh, it's definitely cranberry. Super tart cranberry. I don't necessarily get apple or vanilla. I, it just smells like a very strong, tart, bright cranberry. That's going to be so nice when it's super cold outside and I'm not going anywhere. More bags. Tiffany's Strawberry Cupcakes. So this is her Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I believe blended with her... Yep. A very sweet strawberry cupcake filled with fresh picked strawberries and then I believe the Tiffany's like cupcakes at Tiffany's is in there too and it's funny it's like a bunch of these little cupcakes and then another strawberry it smells like a strawberry filled cupcake like you know when you go to a gourmet cupcake shop and you buy a cupcake and it looks so delicious and then you take a bite and you're like Oh, I was not expecting it to be filled with goodness. That's what it, this is what it smells like. It smells like a like a really rich, moist, decadent cupcake mixed with just a little bit of strawberry, just a little bit. That's heavenly. Mm, I'm looking at my list and I'm like, oh my god, I haven't gotten to that yet. I haven't gotten to that yet. I haven't gotten to that yet. Oh my god, I see the bottom of the box. <laughs> Frost on the pumpkin. Now, I know fall is not over. It's like only been like two weeks, but Frost on the pumpkin was just too too interesting for me. It says a warm, delicious recipe of pumpkin spices, honey and maple topped with sugary vanilla frosting. It's a spicy pumpkin. So there's like yellow pumpkins and orange pumpkins mixed in the bag. What else do I... Honey and maple. Interesting. I definitely find that you can detect the honey. And it smells like raw honey. Like in a bottle. Mixed with pumpkin. And it's spicy. It's like a spicy honey pumpkin. Oh, that's yummy. That's going to be a really good cold weather scent. And you know I'm not going to be able to wait until fall next year to melt that. So, And since it needs no cure time, it might get, get put in the warmers tomorrow. Who knows? Another one. <laughs> There's probably at least ten left. All right. Catherine King. Calling Catherine King. Peach filled zucchini bread. I know how much your husband Tim loves peach. Shout out, hi Tim. And you love zucchini bread. And this is literally peach zucchini bread. Different peach than the peach and the cheesecake. It's definitely like a peach jam. Like 
you go to the store or you go to like the Amish market and you get like really, really good peach jam where the sliced or the cubes of peaches are macerated really slowly and they're warmed and you open that jar and you hear that seal pop and you stick your nose in the jar of jam. That's what this smells like. Smothered on homemade, rich zucchini bread. And you pick up on butter, too, because, I mean, you need peach jam and butter on your zucchini bread. And I, I just cannot get over how she has all these different colors of homespun. I literally don't think I got two of the same colors of ribbon. I think that's amazing. Next, oh my gosh, they are, like, having so much fun. How funny, the cats start going crazy, and this is one has little paws on it. This is Mr. Bear's Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Now, I talked about in the samples that Mr. Bear is her bear claws, so mixed with her Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and bear claws. I mean, could it be bad? And look at these cute little paw prints. It's 50-50. Like, if I close my eyes and I sway and I smell the wax, I smell the pumpkin pecan waffles, and I smell the glazed, delicious, pecan covered, icingy bear claw. That's a bakery lover's dream. If you love pumpkin pecan waffles, <coughs> Lori Brown, you need to try. Mr. Bear's Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. And Lori, you're like me now. You have hot warmers. Her wax performs amazing in hot warmers. Strawberry Marshmallow Filled Jelly Donut. She's famous for her jelly donut scents too. And mixed with strawberry and marshmallow. I don't think that, I don't think that could ever be bad. And see, again, there's like one little strawberry. I love that. Oh, that's yummy. The strawberry on this one, I will say, is a little artificial. But it's not a bad thing. And when you think strawberry marshmallow filled jelly donut, it sounds very decadent and like sweet. And it is. It's definitely very, very sweet. But it's not a bad sweet at all. Oh, that's yummy. Oh, that's yummy. <sighs> jelly donuts. Can you ever go wrong with a jelly donut scent? I don't think so. Oh my gosh, we're getting to the bottom of the bag, you guys. Lemon ice cream pie. I don't even remember ordering this one. Oh, here it is. Our sweet bakery lemon mixed with our yummy vanilla ice cream. Oh my god, and these shapes are like little scoops of ice cream. Different than the like vendor scoops. Okay, this smells cold. Like you can smell the coldness of the ice cream. Like when you open up a, can a, a pint of ice cream and you're like, let me put the lid on the counter because I know that I'm going to eat the rest or later and you end up throwing the lid away at 2 o'clock in the morning because the ice cream's gone. Or is that just me? This is me? It smells like that. Like icy, cold ice cream. I don't know how you capture cold in wax. And not every vendor can do it. And not every oil captures that. This smells like cold ice cream with bright lemon. We are coming down to the final few bags. If you're still with me, thank you. Homemade strawberry biscuits. And I do still have the descriptions here, but most of them are pretty um, self-explanatory. And this one says, Our new homemade biscuit fragrance laced with fresh strawberry. Oh my god, it smells like a biscuit. Like a legit biscuit. 
And yeah, there's a difference between like biscuits and scones and cupcakes and toast and all that. Look at this little grubby. Wow, is that good. Wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, is that good. You pick it all up. You pick the strawberry. And it's like that strawberry jam that people love. That like really thick and delicious strawberry jam. At least I know I love it. Oh my gosh, with that biscuit. How do you capture the scent of a biscuit in the wax? That's what I want to know. Sweet potato and brown sugar pie. I was excited for this for Thanksgiving because I wanted a good, authentic sweet potato scent. And I was like, well, if anybody can do it, Carol can. And there's like a bunch of these little sugar cubes and then some pies. It smells like a sweet potato pie, 100%, with brown sugar. And you know how sweet potatoes, when you smell the smell of sweet potatoes, you picture, like, the stringiness of the potato? You can definitely smell that in here. Ugh. Oh, so yummy. Yep. So, I already know, Thanksgiving morning, because I'm off of work, the mall's closed on Thanksgiving, I'm so excited. I am going to pop these in my warmers at night, and then when the timer goes off at 9 a.m. for them to turn on, I'm going to watch Broadway on the Thanksgiving Day Parade, and I am going to melt sweet potato and brown sugar. Vanilla banana birthday cake. This is a wonderful concoction of rum, warm vanilla pods, banana cream, a hint of orange, and a splash mixed in a wonderful sweet birthday cake. And they're just like these little pancake shapes. Interesting. Banana is very subtle in this. Almost like if you made a birthday cake and you added like one banana mashed in, like mashed into the batter. So you get like the flavor very lightly. It's definitely not strong banana at all. And that's a shocking because I was really expecting a strong banana from this one. Not a bad thing. I was just expecting a lot stronger banana. Well, maybe some people, if you're scared of banana scents and just want to dip your toe into them, I don't understand why some people don't like banana scents. They're like some of my favorites. Try the vanilla banana birthday cake. Oh my god. One more? One more! Christmas time. And it's time spelled T-H-Y-M-E. And this one says the aroma of bayberries and apples with a base note of fresh pine needles and thyme with a top note of freshly ground cinnamon bark. And I got this strictly because I thought it would be a really unique Christmas scent. And look at these grubby little hearts. I like this. After, no joke, reading the scent description, I was like, I don't think I'm going to like that. But I do. You definitely smell the thyme. It's definitely herbal. Mixed with the Christmas tree, though. Mmm. Oh, that, it's just really, it's really clean smelling without being like a clean scent. Oh, that's good. It's, it's a good Christmas one. Tie that back up like that. Put it to the side. My box is empty. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stayed through this whole entire video, I'm going to go edit it now and I'm sure it's going to be at least an hour long, but Definitely check out Carol from Candles from the Keeping Room. Don't let the double poly bag with the ribbon throw you off from ordering from her. I mean, all you can do if it's really a problem is rebag them. But people have not lost scent from them. The paraffin holds the wax. They're poly bags. They're safe. And I love Candles from the Keeping Room. I'm so happy to have them back in my life. And she's definitely going to be on my regular ordering rotation. Especially if she only opens like every two to three months. I can 100% justify placing an order with her every month. Because it's totally worth it. And you get like 18 samples. No joke. You saw. 
to try new ones. And there's already some on that list that I want to try, and some here that I want to pop in the warmers because I want to get more of. But please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and want to see more hauls from vendors that I haven't talked about before or in a long time. Hit that notification bell in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I upload in this thing. Shout out to Carol, Donna, everybody in the Facebook group. You are a wonderful group of guys and gals. And make it a better world and be kind. I love you all.